Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Mark with Kurt Bjorklund. As Jesus finishes this miracle, it says that the Pharisees, verse 11, Mark 8, came and began to argue with him, seeking a sign from him, uh, from heaven, to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, What does this generation, why does this generation seek a sign? Truly, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them and got into a boat once again and went to the other side. Now, understand, again, this is Jesus saying, when you just want me to do a trick so you can say, look, I believe in God, he's not going to do it. Uh, I've said this in different times, but sometimes God, when we're new in our faith, will let us see the miraculous just as a way to say yes. But as soon as you demand it and say, God, do that again, just like I saw one other time, that he won't give you a sign because it isn't genuine belief at that point. But it is, uh, I'm testing you. Uh, I've told this story, but it would be like a, a, a kid saying, God, if you're real, let me see a shooting star tonight. And, you know, five minutes later, a shooting star goes across the sky. And then he comes back a week later and he says, you know, I know you gave me the shooting star, but I really want to know if you're real. And I don't know if you're real. So could you send another shooting star? And it's like none happens. He says, well, there, God's not real. And that's kind of the idea that's happening here. Verse 14, and they had forgotten to bring bread and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And he cautioned them saying, watch out, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. And they began discussing with one another the fact that they had no bread. And Jesus, aware of this, said to them, why are you discussing the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive or understand? Are your hearts so hardened? Having eyes, do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And he said to them, 12. They said to him, and the seven for the 4,000, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said to him, seven. He said to them, do you not yet understand? So Jesus is saying, saying not only is it the Pharisees who, who aren't believing, but, but to his disciples, you're not believing either. You're not understanding. You're, you're hard hearted, meaning you are not seeing who I truly am. But his little catchphrase here, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Now, what is the Pharisees' leaven or the leaven of Herod? So so leaven was something that was used in in the making of bread. And its impact was gradual, meaning you couldn't make it go any faster than it did. It was invisible. You couldn't see it happening, but yet it would dominate the, the, the making of the bread. And so Jesus, when he says, beware of, uh, of the leaven of the Pharisees, is saying, this will be invisible in your life. It will be gradual, but it will dominate you. In other words, the, the, the Pharisees have a pretense of faith. They want to look like they have faith, but they don't actually have faith. So be careful, because if that's the way that you start to live your life, it will be gradual and visible, but it will dominate you. And by saying Herod, he's talking about this double-mindedness. If you remember back to chapter 6, where chapter 6 talked about Herod being somebody who was perplexed, and that Greek word there means somebody of two opinions, What that points out ultimately is he's saying when you stand between two opinions, it will be gradual, it will be invisible, but it will be dominant. And so Jesus here is saying, if you want to understand, if you want to believe, if you want to walk with me, then you must not get caught into either the leaven of the Pharisees or the leaven of Herod, but you must when I believe, not seek a sign, but take a step. And I think that what this points to ultimately is how do you respond to the things that you see in Scripture, the experiences you have with God? Do you respond with obedience and belief, or do you stand and wait? Because responding with obedience and belief is what will keep you from being in the place where you don't understand where you're hardened and will instead keep you from the leaven of the Pharisees or the leaven of Herod. Where are you susceptible today? 
to the leaven of the Pharisees or the leaven of Herod. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.